Hi friends, so welcome to the new Saturday habit forming video. Now more than a habit forming, I am going to talk today about one Marathi saying which is called Anthroon Pahun Paya Pasraiche. That means that spread your legs only till the length of the blanket. If I have to do a verbatim and literal translation, but I'll tell you the meaning of it because the tra literal translation was not as great as the <laughs> Marathi proverb. But what it tells you is that, you know, keep your uh, end use of money or your goals or your uh, desires only to the extent of the funds available and this helps you to lead a stress free life. Now this is video is about financial planning and stress management uh, if I have to uh, you know give a brief idea of what I am going to talk about in the next couple of minutes. Uh, I will first start with the financial aspect okay. Uh, because this is March year end uh, and a new year begins from 1st April, I thought this is the best way, best time to give you my views on uh, financial management. Um, so typically what I do every year is uh, in the last week of March or the last fortnight, I will try to project uh, my income for the next one year, my, uh, uh, my expenses for the next one year. Uh, in terms of my school fees of my children, uh, EMI of house, repairs, insurance premiums, everything. So I'll plot both on two separate sheets and then really see how much surplus I have. If the surplus is good enough to take care of my retirement saving plans or uh, maybe some three year goals, five year goals, ten year goals, I am good. If not, then I really look at what all expenses I can cut from the next year and you wouldn't believe but I really go to the extent of planning for uh, hotel expenses, outside food, travel, uh, you know that there are many line items in my expenses because if you really look at it and if you once you have to take decisions on what not to do it is better to be as, better to be as detailed as possible. So this is for one year where you have relatively clear visibility of what can be your income sources and what should what would be your expenditures uh, which will which will happen but apart from this you should also do some thumb rule on where you want to see your financial position in three years five years ten years and maybe if you are already 40 plus 50 plus how much corpus you want at the time of retirement so these are some of the very critical things which i do every year i have been doing this for the last 10 years uh, and this has really helped me to uh, really prioritize on what i want to do and where I want to invest, where I want to spend, how I want to see my life and it's really really helped but you have to be very consistent. Now coming back to how this uh, helps in stress management, you know sometimes what happens is if you don't have this 3 year, 5 year, 10 year planning, you end up spending the money you earn. Okay now in the 20s and 30s it's fine, you earn whatever income you have, you spend it, you know the typically it's only about your EMI of your house or car. But once you start growing old, you have children, uh, you know, suddenly you understand that, oh, my, my child is going to do his engineering, uh, right? And you realize this only two, three years before. And then I need so much of funds. I need so much of donation. Um, suddenly, uh, you know, if you are, say, around 50, 55, you will come to know, oh, oh, my God, okay, I have to now retire in another five years, 10 years. Do I have enough money? This amount of, these big fund fund uses typically can't happen in one or two years and they have to be compiled and accumulated over a longer period of time and that's where a 3, 5, 10 year and retirement vision helps. Uh, if that does not happen, you end up spending more when you should save more and the whole stress build up starts and starts eating up your mind. So try to, I, I've tried to just give a very big flavor or a very uh, or maybe it's not a, a habit forming video uh, which I have done today. It's a video I should say I have given you my views on how I look at uh, things because it is completely different for everybody. So I did not want to be very articulative today just to share some of my views, my thoughts um, and I would request you to think yourself on what are your needs, your priorities. Talk to your spouses, uh, parents and really come up with a plan and if you need any help just ping me on YouTube but really come up with a plan because without a plan you are going to burn the money, spend the money and you know just build up on your stress levels at some point of time in your life. So be very very mindful.
just be very very mindful of what you are spending as rachana always says you first plan for your savings and then plan for your expenditures and not the other ways okay so uh, yeah happy weekend i think i have given you an activity work to do over the weekend so try to do that activity and as i said if you need any help just ping uh, on insta or um, or my youtube and i'll try to see if uh, the way i can help you okay so bye bye and uh, have a good weekend